Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Safe and today I'm going to walk you through how to use Zoho Bookings to customize your own appointments. We have a lot to cover in this video so make sure to watch it to the end and let's get started. First of all you can create your account from here or you can just log in your account from here if you already have one. And now I'm going to use Google. And I'm going to go and pick up my account. Then I will just skip this for now. And here we go. So I will just close this. And this is how your Zoho booking looks like. So basically here you can find your appointments since we already didn't create any appointments yet so it's empty. You can switch between list view or calendar view. You can also choose to see your tasks on daily basis, weekly basis or monthly basis. You can uh, navigate between different months from here. And you can switch back to list view. So basically to start an appointment, you have to follow some sequence of steps first, starting with creating the services you provide. So this, is can, this can be done by clicking on services here or by going to this plus sign and choose service. So here you have four options, either to add one-on-one -on -one service or group booking or resource booking or collective booking. So basically I will go to group booking and I will, for example, say that I want to create YouTube tutorials. So I will choose my workspace, which is the, the company I used during my registration. And here I will name the service, let's say YouTube tutorials. And here you can select the date. You can also select the time duration. You can also choose the number of seats. So for example, I want to give this tutorial to thousand people you can also repeat it by checking on this box and here it will ask you about the booking type how much to, or how often do you want to repeat it and until when you want to repeat it i will just cancel this then you can insert your price you can choose whether it's paid or free and here you can assign one of your staff, since I already didn't create any one of the of my staff, I will just choose myself and now I can press on save. So let's wait for it to add it and here you can see the approbation or the summary for your own service. You can also add more from here. Let's say I will add one on one. I will select the same workspace. I will say YouTube, shorts, and I will choose, for example, five minutes, price free, I will leave buffer time, preferred meeting mode, let's just leave it, staff assigned, I will assign myself, and then we can go. So now I provide two services. Now I will go to my staff. And here I can customize how my booking page will look like. But before doing so, I will go to here and I will choose to add a customer, for example. So let's say I will add a customer who is called Sarah. And her email is this one. And I'm going to leave the contact number blank. And here is my contact. So now I can go to staff from here or I can go to staff from here. And by going to staff, here I'm adding a new staff as a new staff member however by going to staff here I am showing my staff and I can also create a new staff from this plus sign so here you can see your staff member information this is me and this is my info I can edit it I can also go to working hours to detect when I am free so I can just leave these two days because they are weekend empty and I can leave the rest of the days here 
So after finishing adjusting my working hours and detecting when I will be available, I can also add an availability. So I will just leave this. Now, after finishing this, I can go to uh, staff booking URL to, to see what is my link that I can share with others to uh, invite them to my booking page. And finally, I can go to booking page settings so that I can adjust how my booking page will look like. So it can be default. It can be this sleek version. I can also choose the color, for example. I can choose the header element. I can add a logo. So I will just press on logo here and navigate to my PC. Upload. I can also adjust the title. So let's say my services and here you can see another title in the page element and the description so if you want to see how your um, booking page will look like you can copy the link and go to another tab and insert or you can just press on go to and you will see how your booking page will look like so let's wait for it to load and here it looks like. Here you have your own uh, logo. Here is your name. You have the title and the description. Then you have the services. So any service can be picked up and the, the user will be asked about uh, the date. So he can see the date now. If it's okay for him, he can just continue. And now he can insert his name email and contact number and schedule an appointment. So let's try to insert. I will just add random combination and I will schedule my appointment. And appointment has been added. So by going back to Zoho, I can go to my calendar. And now you can see the appointment has been successfully updated. You can also see it in the calendar view here. You can also add appointments manually by clicking on this cell, for example, and press on add appointment. And now you will have to insert your workspace. You can insert the service type. So I, for example, I will choose YouTube shorts and the, the staff. You can also book, you can also choose the date from here and the time from here, you can choose the customer. I already created this customer. You can add notes and you can finally add a point. Perfect. So this is basically how easy you can use Zoho Bookings and, and you can now decide if it's the right platform for you or not. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys learned from this quick tutorial if you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.